Hey, this is Ali Su. Welcome to Pharmapreneur TV. If you are a past, present, and future pharmacist, and you want to create a business and life you love, this is the show for you. Welcome to Pharmapreneur TV. We believe the world needs more pharmapreneurs. I'm your host today. Today, we're very fortunate to have Dr. Shams on our show. Dr. Shams was born in Iraq, graduated with a PharmD degree in Jordan 2016, and now she lives in Canada. She's a researcher. She's a certified medical researcher, a pharmacist, freelance websites, and smartphone application developer. She has been developing a global e-learning platform for all aspiring pharmacists and pharmacy students. Say hello to everybody. Hello. Thank you for having me, Ali. So great to have you here. So tell us, tell us about your pharmacy journey. Why did you do pharmacy to start with? All right. So my pharmacy journey started in 2010 when I was graduating from high school with high distinction. I was accepted into pharmacy school, even though I didn't know I want to do like what I want to do. So during my university years, I received mentorship from community hospital pharmacists and pharmacy professors. These experiences have made me a compassionate and caring person. Unfortunately, the biggest struggle is that I didn't have the passion for pharmacy from the first place. So I was frustrated and stuck. As you know, pharmacy school is very hard. You have a ton of exams. So all around the year, and, and, and basically I, I wasn't doing that good, especially when I found out in my second year that I, I want to, to be something else other than being a pharmacist. Yeah, no, I totally understand uh, what you mean by pharmacy school was hard. So now what made you get into the tech industry? Well, that's, that was a long story, but it started from one day during my third year of pharmacy school. I was called by the dean of the school to fix the computer during the US ACPE accreditation online meeting when no one else was able to fix it. After that, I became famous. <laughs> they called me the queen of technology. <laughs> I became the IT support for all pharmacy school students and professors. And that started my career in the tech industry. Wow, that's amazing. Um, so when and how did you start the e-learning platform? So the story started in 2013. Students used to share our lecture notes, PowerPoint slides, and records on social media using different uploading websites like you know for shared and dropbox at the end of the year we got lost as files were not organized and we weren't able to find the relevant documents with each course so my brother friends and and i created online storage to organize lecture notes systematically and we named it ice patida oh ice patula very nice yeah. Thank you so much. So uh, over um, a period of six years, iSpatula quickly grew from few files to 16,000 files, equivalent to 2.5 million views with 4,000 active users monthly. On top of that achievement, what we have observed over the years is that a tremendous amount of students are more passionate about teaching their peers um, instead of working the pharmacy. Hence, um, we decided to provide those pharmacy students opportunities to teach on an e-learning platform we created to help them develop their passion and skills to provide value for future pharmacists. It is an e-learning platform for both pharmacy students and pharmacists. There are many different courses will be available, both university level courses and continuing education courses. This e-learning platform will also provide an opportunity for 
pharmacy graduates and senior pharmacists to mentor pharmacy students in the chapter. It will be a great community. Wow, that's wonderful. It's such an amazing innovation for our pharmacy community, especially in Jordan. Um, not only, and also in the world right now. So your platform, your e-platform, be able to reach to pharmacy students and pharmacists all over the world. So not only you have created an iCloud system for pharmacy school back then, you've also created this e-learning platform to create jobs, opportunities, as well as mentorship for students at the same time training and developing skills. What a great idea. Well done. Thank you, Thank you so much. Um, so what advice would you like to give to current and future pharmacists? So my advice to my colleague pharmacist, you know, close your eyes and think about the last thing that you have done with joy and the time passed by without feeling it. That's your passion. Grasp it and make it happen. Wow, wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Shams. Yes, you're Thank right. You so Grasp it. it. Yeah, and make it happen. Let's make it happen, pharmapreneurs. Thank you again, Dr. Shams, today to help us to get into your world and let us realize, well, the world is our oyster. We'll be able to get out there and make it happen. Thank you again for watching Pharmapreneur TV. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.